Hey, what's up everybody? What's up? So today is a little bit different. Today we are picking up a new set of speakers. I'm gonna show you guys right here. Uh, I'm actually sitting down on my, res on my receipt. I came in uh, on Monday, today's Friday, and I ordered a new set of speakers. They didn't have them in stock. So I have the order, they just called me, they're here. So I'm excited to pick them up and try them out today. Uh, I'll show you guys once I uh, pick them up and I open them up, test them out. This is something new for me. This is a new um, new brand I haven't tried. I, I haven't even really heard. I have uh, just seen some reviews from people that I trust. Uh, and pretty much I got those just because I like the way they look pretty much. And I'm trying to do something different this year with, uh, with my setup. So let me just show you really quick where I'm at. I'm here at Guitar Center. I'm going to go pick them up and we'll be back in a little bit. Nobody here. Let me see if, uh, if I can find somebody to give me my speakers. <laughs> but while we're here, let's go check out this place. Look at the bows. Four ninety nine for just the sub. This is what I wanted to get, but it's a little bit too much for what I want right now. I heard the JBLs, and I didn't quite like them. The JBL, uh, the the Eon ones. Do we have some Gemini speakers here too? Damn, two ninety nine. They have the used uh, equipment over here. Ouch. Some people don't take care of their, their stuff. Look at that. They're selling these used ones, but whoever brought them back. <laughs> Looks like this went through war. I'm gonna wait around to see how long it takes to get a, a guy to come and help me or ask me what I need. All right, so it took about 20 minutes for the guys to uh, be available and bring them out. So I'm excited to go uh, home and check them out. I just gotta find myself a knife. I know all the YouTubers usually have a nice knife to open them up, but uh, let's check them out. You guys ready to see what it is? Right here. So we have two of these. Pam, right there. <sighs> All right, so let's turn this on for the first time. Let's see how this stuff works right here. Again, so far I'm impressed. I'm liking what I see. As you guys can see right here, this is the two six and a half inch drivers. And we got the tweeters up on top. 
And from what I hear, it's a really nice uh, dispersion they have on this ones here. So let's turn this on. Let's see what's up. Okay, so we have our Bluetooth connected to Turbo Sound. Let's do a little quick test without changing any settings on the back, just uh, regular Bluetooth and no settings on the EQ. All right, guys, so, so far, two seconds of just getting it turned on. So far, it looks pretty good. I'm using Pandora. I like it, it has a lot of nice settings on it. Let me show you guys. Again, we're back in the menu. Volume goes up to 10. I'm used to all these uh, displays because I've been having EV's uh, system for a while, so I know how to mess with this. That's just your regular volume. We exit it here. You go to your setup and come on camera. I paired the Bluetooth. I know with Bluetooth I was getting decent sound. I can't wait to test them out with the mixer. So right now spare with that. Let me go exit out of this. Uh, you have all this. You, you can go to the mode and do some presets. You have this. This is perfect for ceremony right there, speech club. This sounds good. You have live or you can do your own, cut, your own uh, settings if you go to right here, to the EQ part. Right now we're just messing with uh, this right here. Trying to see it and I have the camera right in front of me so I can focus on it, but let me go back. Another little thing I'm working here now is just messing with this app. So what I did, I paired the Bluetooth on one of them first. Then I went to the other one, I paired it, and now you can just control one of them. So they're, um, they're on stereo mode right now. So whatever I do to one, the other one automatically adjusts. And I'm just using, um, again, Pandora. Hopefully I don't get blocked with copyrights. <laughs> Alright guys, uh, so it's the next day. Yesterday I didn't want to finish testing it out. It was kind of getting dark and it was a uh, family wanted to watch TV. So I didn't finish uh, kind of doing a nice little test on them. Uh, it's morning now, so I'm going to do a little, nice little setup and check on them. I set them up here in the garage as you guys can see. And I'm also set them up on some subs. I'm going to do some testing with, without subs and with some... Uh, I'm testing them out with some EKX 15 subs. As you guys can see right here. Let me just turn this around, just check the mic for you guys. And right now I have them uh, kind of like a mid-level mid on the volume. They sound amazing, as you guys can hear, very nice and clear. Check, one, two. Testing, one, two. I set the subs at 100 hertz. Cut off and on the top. I just put them on, I'll show you on the app right now what I have them at. Test, one, two. I'm waiting for my friend uh, Carlos. We're gonna do a little demo and comparison versus um, QSC KAW2, uh, K8, not W, K8-2s. <laughs> We're setting up for this year to do uh, microsystems. So, and this is like actually a pretty nice system here. But, um. Let me do a little test, let me know if you guys want to see anything else, I'll probably do a nice just review on themselves without any type of subs. I'm going to test them out next week at a, at a wedding. This is what I have them out right here, this is my mixer. 
the input I have it as a little less than zero. Alright, hopefully that thing get blocked out. Exit application. Alright guys, so I have my boy here, my boy Carlos. How we're gonna do compare the QSC KA.2, right? Yeah. ¿Y cómo se llama la otra? La QSC uh, 212, uh, no 112, ¿cómo se llama? Yeah, we're doing, um, hey, how you doing guys? We're doing uh, the K, uh, KS 112 and we're also doing the QSC KA.2. So, okay, that's okay. And we're gonna do what is comparison, right? We're comparing uh, microsystems. Yeah, exactly. Is that today, yeah, team is microsystems. So yeah, so we're gonna do our 2019 setup. So we're trying out microsystems. We're gonna be comparing uh, my system that I just got, and also Carlos just got the KA.2 and the KS 112. Correct. Okay. Correct. Let me see. I'm gonna set up mine. And the goal for these setups are to do events for what 150 people maybe yeah we're doing 100 uh, about 100 150 people okay. that's what the uh the microsystems are for so today we're doing um this is just a uh, uh, compression so look at what i see all right guys so we just tested the uh, the qsc system and so far i can say the the subwoofer is a 12 inch subwoofer i feel like it's hitting a lot harder than the ev 15s it's one 112 is one little 12 uh seems like and um maybe half the size of the 15 because it's uh it's more like a longer way this is more like a right. square type of thing what's <laughs> up carlos yeah, uh, for a microsystem, I think uh, this is good enough for about maybe 100, 130 people. Yep. It's hard to say, but I think it's more likely to the um, the size of the room that you are. Outdoors, they sound great. I think indoors, they sound even better. Last week, I had them on a uh, on, on an indoor hall, and the floors they were um, wood and carpet, and they had to tell me to. To turn it down, to turn the volume down because on the bass because it was too was too hard. As far as what I understand about the QSCs, like the, the KS, uh, I mean sorry, the QSCs, the eight, ten degrees. Then we go ninety-five or in seventy-five on the KS stuff. I, I believe so. I'm not sure, but that's what I understand. Um, it's a very compact speaker. I, I like him. Didn't think I see it as a con, and I think because I'm getting old, they don't have the sight great that I'm used to getting them to get them out there but you know they're they're lighting up and um, they again this is a micro system this is not intended to to do two three hundred people you know or any like a high school event or or you know anything like that you know not definitely you're gonna have a band playing next to you uh, I think this is something that you can take for any uh, formal wedding, any formal event, anything that has to do with mixtures, a pool party it will sound amazing, a backyard party where you don't want the bass to be, uh, you know, going into the neighbors and getting complaints. I think this is the way to go. Pack it on your car and, and that's pretty much it. Now we're going to move into the uh, turbo sounds. Uh, the speaker is freaking awesome. I, I'm just, this is the first time I I listened to, to uh, I, I heard the brand once before, but this is the first time that I listened to this. This is the Inspire uh, Turbo Sound, and I'm gonna pass it on to uh, Joey, that uh, he's the lucky one that owns this uh, speaker, so he can tell us a little more about you know the performance or what he thinks uh, about him so far. All right, guys. Well, uh, so far, like you guys, like I said uh, a little uh, before in the previous clip, I got this yesterday. I didn't hear them before, uh, first time checking them out. Uh, nice reviews on YouTube and for the price it's a really really good, uh, I think really good investment for a microsystem. Like Carlos says, uh, these are probably perfect for um, formal weddings, 100, 130 people maybe. You add a sub to them and of course you can maybe add a little bit more, maybe 150 people, 150 guests. Uh, the sound quality sounds very clear 
um, which is messing around so far. I like it. What do you think, Carlos, on the sound so far that you've heard? Oh, I really like it. I think one of the things that uh, people are going to like, uh, especially for like the ceremonies or anything that has to do with uh, you not being able to be right out with the speaker's going to be, maybe sitting it on the side. I mean, they're elegant. They're, they look, I mean, now it's the only thing you can, that I can say you can do to this speaker is, is being white and not even like that. I think this is perfect. But the, the Bluetooth capabilities of it, that's what I, that's one of the things that it's, it's just, you know, I'm blown on about uh, how you can actually do all the AQ settings and, and uh, everything from your phone because it does have an application. All right, so we're going to close out the video. Uh, so far, um, Carlos, final words on the systems, the microsystem. Any of them too will be good enough for small system, correct? Yeah, I, you know what? I, I don't think that uh, that I will. It will make a, a difference for me because being known, the principle is going to be a, a, a microsystem. Yeah. Again, what do we want for microsystem? We want to go for events. It's going to be 30, 40, 50 people, uh, up to 100, 120 people. They really work. And the the bottom end is going to be, uh, I guess, it's going to be your choice. What do you want to get? In, in my case. I've been working with QSC for many years, and and I think that uh, they are maybe a little uh, uh, overpriced, especially when on the K8s for 50 or 100 dollars more you can get a K12 and forget about the uh, the bottom end. But what I wanted was something that I can move around and carry so, so easy. So um, I'm happy with what I hear. Uh, I wish I would have known about the turbo sounds before I got the K the the, the K uh, the QSCs because of. The fact that uh, they are a bit uh, inexpensive and they give you four more years of the warranty, which, uh, you know, uh, you can go wrong with that. When somebody gives you 10 years of warranty, you know, 10 years from now, who knows what's going to be out there in the market. And, and, and you, know, you know, when you have something that is going to be rocking for 10 years, I think you're going to be very satisfied. Uh, the the pros on, on, on the uh, turbo sounds, will be, uh, to me, uh, cosmetically they look awesome. They, the sound is crispy. Uh, of course, you can't tell really the sound on the video, but the sound is really good. The, uh, the uh, integrated uh, Bluetooth on them, it's just, and, and having everything on an app from your phone, when you can do Bluetooth, you can do sound, you can do EQ, you can do that. I think that's you can't beat this this you know this this, this deal right here. One thing I would like to see maybe uh, some uh, turbo sound carrying bags or you know that you can protect your gear and all of that. Uh, I'm very happy, uh, Joey. Thank you for having me in your house. Um, and anytime, anytime. It's a great it's a great investment. And uh, again, this is a micro system. You know, micro system meaning. This is what you're gonna do. You're gonna do malls, you're gonna do department stores, you're gonna do pool parties, I mean, mixers, anything that has to do, you know, uh, any uh, wedding that is gonna be uh, uh, nice and, 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 and a private wedding. Uh, wineries, did you do a lot of wineries, you know? Yep. Joey works uh, all the, uh, the wine valley where most of the events are outdoors and you cannot be working later than 10, 11 o'clock at night and they have, uh, you know, the, uh, the 80 decibels that people require as, as far as by law and sound, you know, they usually, they usually check those decibels like five feet away from the speakers, which is, you know. <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah, it's, 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 it's BS, but you know, it is what it is. Um, that's it for me. That's the sort of I can tell you. All right, well, very good. Thank you, Carlos. Uh, my final thoughts, uh, you guys can see, um, anybody can start with a new system. This is 2019, everybody is upgrading now to the small systems, whether it's uh, K8, eight inch speakers, or if you're doing a small column array speakers. If you already have a small sub, or if you have a sub that you can always add up to your system, start up with that. Mm -hmm. And that's it, pretty much. Thank you guys. Make sure you guys subscribe. And we'll see you guys on the next clip, right?